Today I want to talk to you about recording with your computer. Now, two things. One, I know a lot of you right now are like, recording with your computer? I can't even see your face, dude. You already suck. You can't even... Well, I did that on purpose. A, I'm really not that handsome. And B, I figured it'd be a lot more cool to look at this happy face than mine. Plus, it's early, so who wants to look at early morning face? Um, B, a lot of you are already like, dude, I've been recording with my computer for 10 years. So what are you talking about? You're, you're late on the bus. Well, that's awesome. I've been recording with my computer for 10 years too. But I talk to a lot of guitar players who haven't. You know, guys in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s. And the minute you start talking about plugging your guitar into a computer, the, ah, warning, Will Robinson, danger. You know, they start, the panic attack is setting in. They're starting to sweat and get uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, because they didn't walk around with an iPhone in their pocket, you know, at 15. So this video is for that market, you know, for those people to show just how easy it is to get a really good guitar sound and make a really good recording, you know, it's just as easy as pushing that button on your old Tascam 4-track recorder. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Mac. Guitar-wise, I'll be using this here as an Ibanez Prestige. Love it, it's probably one of my favorite guitars ever. Now for my interface, I'll be using this here. It's a Universal Audio Apollo Twin. Now. Besides that, it's a Thunderbolt connection, which is like Star Trek warp speed faster than any USB or Firewire. What I really like, and the preamps are awesome, is right here. You just plug your guitar in and go. It already has a dedicated high z input. Okay, we're going to start off by opening up GarageBand. It's already on empty projects, so we're going to choose that. Because we do want to start from scratch. This piano is on there because my MIDI controller is plugged in. So we'll get rid of that. Now from the drop down menu, we're going to start with using GarageBand's drummer to get a drum track laid down. Now you can come over here, select any of these styles, but we're going to stick with rock. Choose any of these drummers. We're going to stick with Kyle. Now as is, the drums are going to sound like this. Okay, now you can come down here to the matrix and move this icon up for louder, down soft, over here for more complex, over here for more simple, and you can watch it kind of change in real time there. So what I want to do is keep it right, let's, let's do it right there. Nice kind of backbeat blues rock, it's going to sound like this. So there's that. Now let's make a rhythm guitar track. So we're going to come here to New Track. From the drop-down menu, select Guitar, Create. Now we can have a clean guitar, crunch guitar, distorted guitar. For the sake of this, we're just going to keep it clean. Use a, how about an old Fender? Old school Fender, that's going to sound like this. Now when you're ready to record your rhythm track, you're going to come up here and hit this red icon. Now I have it set for a four count over here. So when we hit it, let's lay that rhythm track. So good. Now let's make a lead track. So go to track, new track, it's already on guitar. So we'll create. Now let's keep it the same kind of guitar tone going, but now I want to add a little grind to it. 
So I'm going to come over here, select this icon, and that's going to show us the face of the amp. So you can change the mic placement, do all that kind of stuff. If you want to add a pedal, let's add a pedal. Let's get rid of that. Let's add a, let's add a little bit of delay in there. How about this one? So with a delay on there, so let's boost the time on that right about there. Let's kick the repeats back and the mix. Now our delay sound is going to sound. So that's cool. Now I do want to add a little bit of drive on here. So I turn the distortion on. And let's move it to about between 7 and 8. So we'll close that. Now our guitar is going to sound like this. Alright, so when you're ready to lay your track, you're going to come up here again and hit your red button. So this is what we have. I'm going to go over and this is just hit play. say when you're done with it you can come over here and you can share it you can send the song if you have iTunes on your computer you can send it to iTunes you can make a ringtone to iTunes uh, you can send it to SoundCloud you can email it so what I'm gonna do just to show you is I'm gonna email it to myself so we're gonna call this um, let's call it booger so that's my favorite word. Say the word booger six times. And you're like, dude, who came up with the word booger? So now it's automatically going to kind of take the track, bounce it down. Mail's going to open here. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to send it to myself. So that would be Mark. And then... Um, bugger. That's it. Now we're going to click send. And you can send it to your friends, send it to whoever, do whatever you want with it. And it's just that easy, man. So again, I hope this was, you know, informative for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. And as always, man, if you do, feel free. Please subscribe.